Hello, my name is Mylon Greenman. My call sign is KD8DID, Kilo Delta 8, Delta India Delta. And I made this video to show people how to program their Yesu FT1802 using the programming cable and their computer. Okay, with my USB programming cable connected to my laptop and my Yesu FT1802. I'm going to start um, a software called FTB1802, which was uh, written by G4HFQ. Um, you can download the software from his website, and it was a $15 um, cost, which I think was well worth it. So if we open this up, we have the memory software that uh, communicates with the radio and one thing that I like about this over another software that I'm going to show you is that it has a few different tabs up here the PMS, home, frequency, the VFO frequency, uh, the blank link scan, and the configuration which I particularly like the configuration because you can go through and set up all of your all of your radio functions through this screen push read radio and it says you're about to read the radio power the radio off remove the microphone cable connect the level converter cable hold down the low AN button and power on the radio. You'll hear three tones and rising in frequency and the radio will show clone. AN low. Power the radio on. The radio says clone. So I will hit OK. Now it says press the megahertz set key until the radio starts to send I will push that. Okay, and now the radio is sending the uh, memory channels that are already programmed into the radio into the programming software. And it's finished. Now in here, you have your memory numbers your receive frequency, your operation mode, which on this radio was just FM, your repeater shift, repeater offset. Um, I've never changed the transmit frequency, so I'm not sure exactly how that works. Your encoding method, which mostly what I use is tones for repeaters. Your CTCSS tone. The DCS code, which I don't think I'm really using. Um, I believe I can enter a name in here and then the memory name you can enter. Uh, so these are all of my repeaters that I have programmed in. Um, your transmit power uh, and a few other things here um, that you can change on the computer. And then um, download them back to the radio. So for instance on this empty channel, uh, I'll just copy uh, the one above it here, 145.4700, FM with a minus um, 0.6 megahertz shift or offset, uh, the tone uh, we'll change this to 114.8. Oh, I see. This uh, this shows you either the frequency or the memory name on the display when you have the memory on that channel on the radio. So I want it to show the name, and we will call it JK Link with your power setting low one, two, three, or high. We, we can stay with low one. And the rest of these look okay. 
Now to write that back to the radio, you hit write radio. Okay, so you power off the radio, remove the microphone lead, connect the level converter cable, hold down the low AN button and power the radio on again. You will hear the three tones rising in frequency and the radio will show clone. Alright, and then we'll click OK. Now, you press and hold the D, M, R, M, W key until the radio shows wait. And then you'll click on OK to start writing to the radio. And the download begins, or uh, should I say upload, back to the radio. And the upload is complete. And if I go on to the radio, to my memory channels, memory channel 43 and 44 should be the same. And they are. Great. The other software is called Chirp. Go to download from radio. I am on COM port number 4. It's a Yaesu model FT1802 and I need a power off here. You hold the AN low button, power the radio on, and it says call. And then when I hit OK, it should download from the radio to the computer. Uh, once I hit set megahertz, it's transmitting. Here are all the memory channels that have downloaded from the radio and from the previous software you see that there is number 43 and 44 now to write back to the radio um, you hit upload to radio hit MW DMR button. The radio says wait and then you hit OK and it clones back to the radio. Alright, and the transmit is complete, and we are all set. One feature that I like about the Chirp programming software is that you can query a data source such as the repeater book. So to do that, <coughs> I'm in Michigan, uh, Jackson County, and I will look for two meter repeaters that are in Jackson County here. Hit OK and it brings up a list of my local repeaters that I can program to the radio.